Hi there, here's a very quick video about how I record my Dirty Wave M8 videos, my setup here. I've got my laptop on the left here with my, it's not really a script, it's just some stuff I've typed in just to give me a reminder. I'm using just a very simple Yeti mic, one of the blue mics, which, which is fine. I mean, I have got a Neumann mic, which I have used, but this is absolutely fine. And I've got that plugged into a program called ScreenFlow, which I'll show you this. And this records the, the screen. It's actually recording everything I'm doing now. You can configure ScreenFlow to record what's coming out of your uh, audio interface, what's coming out of this Yeti mic. I use this touch designer program with this very typical M8 display. I've just recently downloaded this patch, which I'll show you if I click full view down here. This was uh, programmed by a guy, a very clever guy called George Glaxner. It's called the, the Glax patch. It looks like, well, it is a real M8, not my M8. If I press play, you can see it's just like the real thing. And every button press that I do flashes blue absolutely brilliant so you can see what buttons I'm pressing you can see the display if you prefer the original uh, view of this just click full view and it takes you back to this that's the thing that most people use go back to that so uh, that's that Glyx patch and there's all kinds of gizmos here you can have these different backgrounds this one I think it pulses in time yeah as does I think this one Hang on. This one's got these kind of geometric shapes. This one's kind of clouds. I don't know what it is really. This is a lovely one with the, the sun and the graphics. It's just amazing. I'll probably use just this basic boring one because I don't want it to get in the way of uh, what I'm actually trying to show. As far as showing you my fingers on the buttons, I've got an iPhone on a little clamp thing which I bought, which you can see in the photo here. It cost me 15 pounds, 99 pence. And it's a very simple arrangement with this framework with the hose and the, the phone in the clip. And I'm filming in 25 frames per second, 4K on my iPhone 11. And it's uh, it's really nice. And of course it, it records all the, the button clicks. I'll probably use a combination of the on-screen M8 and the, the real one filmed with my iPhone. I'm monitoring on headphones. I'm using two very simple lights. They are battery operated, but I've got them plugged into the mains because they do tend to run out fairly quickly. They're very, very cheap off Amazon, but they, they seem to work fine. So it's a, a good little setup. I'll show you how I do the sound. Now you can do the sound on this Glyx patch, but it's a bit glitchy. And you see audio is off. If you put audio on, you can set all the inputs and outputs. I found it a bit glitchy. So what I do is I've got my M8 plugged into my Focusrite audio interface. And I use a program called Reason, which of course is a very famous, brilliant sequencer. I've used this for over 20 years. And if I just run this very simple bass drum pattern, uh, you can see if I just scroll down, it's just going through one channel of that. Um, I don't think I've got even, I have got a little bit of EQ on it. Yeah, a tiny bit of top added to that. If I come down to the mixer, you can see I've got the output set at ED. Okay, so fairly high, uh, but you know, it seems to be a good balance between my voice coming into the uh, Yeti mic and the output coming from the, the M8 and obviously when I finish recording ScreenFlow has got two audio strips one is the M8 one is the uh, Yeti mic and I listen to those see how well they're balanced maybe add a bit of top to that and then just render that as a, as a film and then I bring that into Final Cut Pro add the iPhone video to that sync everything to the audio the audio that I use is is the audio I record in ScreenFlow. I don't use the audio from the phone, just the video part of that. So that's how I do it. Having said all that, it sounds fairly complicated, isn't it? To do these videos successfully, you have to have all these things really. I'm just about to record the second part of my worked example series on the M8, where I'm teaching people how to record a simple song. And I'm going to use uh, this view uh, of the, uh, the M8 on my uh, computer. I'll see if I prefer to this original view and uh, we will take it from there.